What's up, YouTube? Honeybee here, bringing you some exclusive Nightwolf gameplay footage. Huge shout outs to Warner Brothers for giving uh, me some early access to Nightwolf. In this video, we're going to look over Nightwolf's two tournament variations. I was uh, given a little bit of time at Evo to actually look over this character, and we got, uh, we got to look at some of the ins and outs of his uh, tournament variation. So what we're going to do in this video is we're really just going to start by kind of looking over a lot of his moves. Um, as you can see, some of the frame data is not actually uh, given. As you can see, there's a lot of like NA, NA, NA. We can't see like whatever any of this is. But I'm going to turn on the... Uh, I'm going to turn on the uh, frame data, the in-game frame data, so we can take a look at uh, what we're looking at here. And let's also put on the uh, tournament variations. Makoto Warrior and Ancestral Gift. Alright, so here we go. 17 frame mid is, uh, I think that's his forward one right there. Uh, I'm going to put the opponent to block so that we can see how it is on block. Negative 5 on block, 17 frame. Uh, mid he has a 13 frame as well negative 7 on block um, Let's take a look at some of his other moves here 7 frame down 1. It's pretty good negative 4 on block That's solid the range is, is pretty decent on that Stand 2 stand 1 2 3 4 is generally always a high attack so he has that move as well. That's a special move, I believe. Or is that no? I think that might be his uh, back two or forward two or something like that. He has an overhead, and that's uh, quite punishable, but he actually has a string off that. We'll see it later. So he actually has a safe overhead string. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a follow spot gap or not. But yeah, that's a that's a 17 frame mid right there. You can actually combo off of it, but it's uh, punishable on block. That's a down two. Looks pretty solid. 10 frame startup move so right now we're just kind of looking at the uh, basics of night wolf we'll look, go into like the speci specifics of the uh, tournament variation later he had an 11 frame mid that's pretty good um he has an 11 frame mid that he can hit confirm into combos we'll see that later on right now we're just kind of testing out some of his strings eight frame uh down three it's pretty okay nine frame down four the range seems pretty solid and uh, down three seems kind of uh, reminds me a little bit of Noob Cybot's uh, down three. But his, this one's eight frames and negative six. So it's pretty solid. That's a pretty solid uh, down three. Pretty good range on that. That was a sweep right here, but this is back four. 12 frames, negative four on block. It's a pretty solid sweep. So we're going to start looking at his uh, strings now, his combo attacks. Negative six. I wasn't too cer uh, sure what his really good stuff was, but see this string right here? It's an overhead at the end, and it's plus one on block. I believe there's, there is a flawless blockable gap in there, though. As we can see there, you can see that he uh, can flawless block that gap. What else do we have here? That's back one, three, negative five on block. So right now we're just testing if it's a special cancelable, and it is. That could be something that uh, Nightwolf could use to hit confirm into uh, full combos. And that's the, uh, the end of the string. Negative three on block. Seems pretty good. There might be a flawless blockable gap in there, though. Uh, it seems like there's a little bit of delay between the uh, second and third hit. Negative 13 on block. So that's pretty punishable. Probably not a string that you're going to want to be doing on block. As you can see, once again, the frame data isn't really uh, shown, so we kind of have to just test out each move and see what the uh, frame data says on the in-game frame data. Yeah, so this is his overhead safe string. Um, as you can see, the overhead on its own is quite punishable, but the string itself is a uh, negative six on block, which is safe. 
And he actually can't complete the string if it's uh, flawless blocked at the beginning, which is uh, kind of interesting. He has a crushing blow off of uh, this deadly talon string. Uh, one, two, what is it again? Or three, one, two. Yeah, three, one, two. High and then an overhead at the end. So the odds of actually connecting this as hit has to be the one that connects or something. It's like, I feel like at a high level seeing uh, people get hit with that. Triggers if only the final hit connects. So that string's negative three. The, if he finishes, the string is negative two. This could be uh, useful for uh, staggering, potentially. Now this seems to be one of his uh, pretty good uh, attacks right here, back three, four. Um, back three, um, back three is an, I believe that's an 11 frame mid. And back three four is a is a mid and then a low and then he can finish the string back three four down four to make it himself negative seven on block um so you could kind of like hit confirm or block confirm into that on block and if you get hit then you can actually confirm into a combo so that seems a uh, pretty strong like a pretty strong move So let's take a look at some of his uh, special moves. This uh, bow and arrow move is a uh, base move. He can actually cancel it using his uh, defensive bar, bar. If he amplifies it, it's a, a high, mid, and then another high uh, arrow. This is his reflector, his reflector uh, attack. It parries uh, projectiles and uh, sends them back at the opponent. So that seems pretty good to me, as you can see. He can actually punish uh, someone like Nightwolf for even uh, doing the parry, I, I mean, doing the projectile. I'm sure it depends on the uh, projectile, whether or not it'll punish though, depending on the speed. But it seems like it's a pretty good uh, attack. You can hold it down and uh, yeah, project it parries all projectiles. So some of the stuff that he has uh, specific to this variation, we're gonna start seeing now, which is this special move, uh, down forward two, I believe. He can uh, amplify it and get a full combo. Something like that. Obviously, it's not optimal. We don't really know any of that stuff yet. But it's interesting that he can get some like pretty solid damage off of a, a hit confirmable uh, mid. So that sound sounds like something pretty good for Nightwolf. I think I was talking to uh, some other people that had a chance to test this game, and I believe Nightwolf can get like potentially around 30% for a basic combo. This uh, buff right here is uh, another uh, thing specific to this uh, variation. Makoto Warrior, uh, he gets this uh, buff which actually increases his damage output. As you can see, his throw is now doing 16% instead of uh, 14%. He can also uh, amplify this buff to get even uh, more damage. So we're just showing his uh, throw normally does 14%. If he uh, amplifies it, he'll get even more. And now it's 17.5%. Uh, so that's pretty good damage off of the throw. Obviously, he's using a, he's using a bar right there. But that seems like it could be uh, pretty good for this variation. It's going to be scary to uh, get opened up by him when he has that buff active. And that's 30%, uh, but obviously that does have the buff on. Um, not sure at all if that's optimal. Almost certain it's not optimal, but just something... Uh, to note, he does get pretty solid damage. Now, Rhino Charge, this is his last um, base variation move. He gets a, a pretty quick shoulder attack, very similar to Yasqueen's shoulder. 
and it's a uh, negative 16 on block it has very good uh travel distance and it's a 12 frame startup mid so that's going to be pretty useful to use in basically any situation that cassie's shoulder shoulder would be good to use anything that's um negative like uh for example shang sung's uh hell sparks he'll be able to punish it with the shoulder i'm sure <clears throat> he can also uh amplify the shoulder to get a, a little bit more damage Yeah, as you can see, he can amplify the shoulder, and uh, the overhead is still negative, uh, is still punishable on block. So reg regardless, like it is unsafe to do in the neutral, but it is uh, something that could catch people off guard as it's uh, very quick and uh, it is a mid. If he amplifies it, he'll get roughly 12% as opposed to not amplifying for uh, not amplifying for. Uh, 8%. He does have a crushing blow attached to it. I don't believe I actually uh, tested it out, but um, as we can see here quickly He has a crushing blow attached to it here. Triggers when only the amplified version hits a grounded opponent. So it seems like uh, you gotta only the amplified so maybe if they block I guess the mid and then they get hit by the amplified overhead then no crushing blow um, I don't know how useful that'll be as like an actual thing to open people up uh, that's gonna have to be tested a little bit more in actual matches so that's basically what we're looking at when it comes to uh, this variation of course he does have his fatal blow but we're gonna skip that because let's not bother getting this video demonetized so yeah those are his abilities in this variation rising tomahawk and spirit of keepa um, that's coupled with his base moves of the projectile parry his uh, air bow and arrow projectile and his uh, shoulder now we're going to start to take a look at his uh, other variation. Something to note as well though um, is Nightwolf does have uh, crushing blow throws off of both his back and forward throw. So that's always something nice to have. Now we're just kind of looking at his uh, get up attacks. He has a, a 10 frame up, up 2 which is uh, solid and a 10 frame uh, up 3 as well. Doesn't really seem like he can be low profiled at least not that easily. So uh, now we can look at uh, his second variation, which is Ancestral's Gift. Uh, he gets access to two uh, strings in this that he doesn't have in the other one. He actually can get a crushing blow off of this. And it seems like it could be a good ender, potentially. Triggers of combos a counter or a punish. And this is a uh, quite punishable on block, negative 14. So you're not really going to want to be using that on block. We're just going to be testing the crushing blow right here. That's a punish. And it doesn't pop up for anything, but and he gets some decent damage on it. About 21% was it. Everything else about his... Uh, his basic attacks seem to be the same in a second tournament variation. Uh, so he just gets access to two new combo strings. I believe we'll show the other combo string later on. And uh, he gets uh, some different uh, special moves as is usual with any uh, tournament variation change. So here we're looking at uh, his other moves. In this uh, variation he gets access to uh, Command Grab, Tomahawk Swing. Um, and he also gets access to a teleport by amplifying his uh, parry. He'll actually be able to teleport behind the opponent. He can amplify that for a little bit of extra damage. Um, his base command grab does like 12%, and 
and his uh, amplified command grab does 15%. So I'm not really sure if it's worth uh, the extra 3% for that. It doesn't look like you can combo off of it like I thought maybe you could. But yeah, it seems like you just get an extra 3% for amplifying it, so it might not really be worth it. The base uh, command grab getting 12% is um, alright though. It is a high command grab, by the way. It's not a, it's not a mid command grab. Uh, I believe we also looked at... Yeah, here's a, a look at his... Uh, he can actually uh, amplify and go out to the other side. It has a little bit of recovery though, the uh, amplified... Uh, parry projectile reflector so like it has a little bit of recovery so i'm not sure how good exactly it is but you could potentially um you can definitely punish uh people for shooting a projectile if you can time it correctly and you can always you'll, you're, you can get in their face and that's always a scary thing with a command grab character to have them in your face but he won't have uh in this variation for ancestral gift uh, I believe one thing he'll probably suffer from is uh, the lack of combo potential since um, his uh, down forward 2 from the Makoto Warrior won't be uh, in this variation. And the down forward 2 is the move that he's going to be using to uh, extend combos a lot. So that might end up being something that will hurt the uh, Ancestral Gift variation. Also, uh, one thing to note is he does have a crushing blow off of his command grab. It's kind of weird. It has to be a reversal punish in order to uh, crushing blow. I believe we show that at this point. That's not a that's not a reversal punish. It has to be a reversal punish like that. And then we're going to get a crushing blow. And it has a uh, bleed damage over time. Not sure exactly how much it does, but it looks like somewhere in the ballpark of 27% for the full crushing blow. So right now we're just kind of testing some of his ticks. Um, if you if you duck, you can get away from his. Um, you can get away from the command grab since the command grab is a high. But it looks like from what I found, his down one, his down three, and his down four can all tick grab into the uh, the command grab. I couldn't find any other moves that would uh, tick into it. So right right now we're just taking a look at like how fast uh, his teleport works. You can hold it, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, like this character. <clears throat> that's basically what we're gonna, what we saw from uh, Nightwolf in this uh, 30 minutes that we had with him. Some uh, pretty interesting stuff. The character uh, seems like he'll be uh, pretty good, especially in the uh, Makoto Warrior variation. I think, um, I think the Makoto Warrior variation might end up being the quote-unquote better one as of now, just because of the uh, damage output that he'll have from it. Um, being able to teleport in the second variation may be useful, but when you have a, a, a move that will parry all projectiles anyways, it might not even be that necessary to have a teleport in this game. And like the command grab is always something to be scared of, but it is a high and it doesn't do that much damage. Um, I feel like having access to um, a combo extender in the Makota Warrior variation and the uh, damage uh, buff with his... Uh, Spirit of Koba, I want to say it's called. Um, I think that's going to be a little bit more useful, so I kind of think the Makoto Warrior variation might end up being better just because of the damage output he'll get from it. Um, but that's, well, I guess we'll see when the character uh, launches August uh, 13th. But that's essentially what we're going to be looking at for the tournament variations of Nightwolf. Thank you guys for tuning into this video, and I'll see you in the next one.